What is going on, Crypto Fiends? Ryan Martello here at the Crypto Fiend Studios, and today we have an awesome news episode for you guys. We are going to be looking into two very exciting and bullish news articles revolving around crypto, of course. And then, of course, we are going to be looking into the price movement of cryptocurrencies. Now, before we get into all of that, thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel. And if you're not subscribed and you do find this video informative, consider subscribing. It's not that hard to do. Go over here, hit that subscribe button, and hit this little bell so you can get notified when videos are posted to the channel also in this video we are going to be doing a giveaway we are going to be giving away fifty dollars worth of xrp or ripple uh, ripple has been on an exponential bull run recently so i figured we give back to the community give back to one lucky subscriber and give away fifty dollars worth of ripple so all you have to do to be entered of course be subscribed to the channel with post notifications on and leave a comment down below with a question an informative comment whatever you want leave it down below and you are entered in to win $50 worth of ripple that will be announced in uh, the video the news video tomorrow um, so to start things off we are going to be looking into the price movement of cryptocurrencies crypto is doing awesome right now we still are on the low side compared to all-time highs but we are seeing great great things in the crypto space the past week and i couldn't be more excited uh, we are setting up very nicely for these next couple months uh, where in the previous year we had a massive bull run around the end of october to november and december so currently with the market 226 billion dollars 22 billion dollars in 24 hour volume and bitcoin dominance is decreasing these are all great signs uh to start things off market cap we were around the 200 billion dollar range a couple of days ago so we did add on a good chunk of change around 16 percent onto the total market cap um for the 24 hour volume Great to see. We are seeing $22 billion flow in and out of the crypto space. That means liquidity is rising, which means more volatility. Um, and then for Bitcoin dominance, 52% or 51%, we are seeing this drop from last week where Bitcoin dominance was around 55%, which means altcoin season, cryptocurrencies are really starting to get some money in uh, into them. So to start things off with the price movement, we have Bitcoin looking very pretty at 4% up on the day, around $6,700. We have, of course, Ripple XRP up 81%, and it seems like Ripple is rising by the minute. Let's refresh the page. Um, actually, it just dropped quite a bit, actually, just 62%. Look at that. Right when I'm recording the video, it dropped. So we are going to be, be discussing this briefly. Uh, in a second uh, about Ripple, everything you need to know about Ripple, because I know a lot of you guys clicked on this video for Ripple, um, but XRP also did do a recent flipping with Ethereum uh, to the second spot. Does this mean anything? No, it's not really that important. It's just very interesting to see so much money flowing into XRP specifically. Uh, also, we have Bitcoin Cash up 11%, Stellar up 17 Cardano up 11 you guys get the idea everything is doing very well today and we have a lot of bullish news as well we are going to be looking into right now so to start things off with ripple ripple has been spiking the past week for a handful of different reasons first off uh, one of the team leads came out and announced that they will be most likely releasing their x rapid platform within the next month most likely so of course nothing's a guarantee they can't guarantee anything but it most likely of course will be released um if you guys don't know what the x rapid platform is it's a product that they've been working on for quite some time where banks will be able to send cross-border transactions where say a bank wants to send us dollars to india they could send through xrp tokens and then it will be converted into the indian currency once received on the other end so this is a big deal for ripple and is really going to drive a, a adoption across the board um, another big thing is we have a lot of these big banks wanting to come in and adopt ripple now of course not cryptocurrencies right now it could come down the line but they are jumping into ripple specifically a big bank that just jumped on board top 10 us bank pnc announced a partnership with ripple yesterday uh, where they will be utilizing their cross-border transaction payment method x rapid um so that's a perfect example 
a lot of big banks jumping on board and i think this is relatively a good thing now i know there's a lot of people that don't support ripple because it is a centralized company um even though the currency is decentralized um but i think it is a good thing that we are having a lot of these banks wanting to utilize blockchain tech even though it's not uh, diversified amongst all the cryptos Right now, it's mainly focused on Ripple. Ripple is in the spotlight, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. We are going to continue to see this big adoption come as these big banks want to utilize crypto. You're going to have your average day-to-day -day banker go down to the bank and say, okay, this bank's utilizing crypto and blockchain tech. Maybe I should look into this and take advantage uh, now before we shoot to all-time highs. So some other news for the day we have 1.7 billion dollar online retailer overstock.com recently announced that it will sell bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies through its website by next year awesome awesome stuff we know the ceo of overstock has been very very passionate about cryptocurrencies since its infancy and now they want to sell bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on their website itself um, that's also a big thing that Overstock is a huge company where they sell practically everything when it comes to like furniture goods, uh, decorations, stuff like that. And you will be able to also, right now, you can purchase um, those sort of items with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. But guys, we are just seeing awesome ado adoption across the board. So next up, we have Bitcoin. big news from the Wall Street powerhouse fidelity investments i talked about this in my previous video but i want to emphasize how important this is uh ceo abigail johnson who announced that the fourth largest asset management management firm in the world will roll out cryptocurrency and blockchain products and services later this year fidelity has 2.5 trillion dollars in assets under management and it has 27 million customers who have 6.9 trillion dollars in assets with the firm we've got a few things underway a, th a few things that are partially done we hope that to have some things to announce by the end of the year said johnson at boston fintech week 2018 so big things by the end of this year abigail johnson the ceo said that hopefully they will have some of these products released or announced um, that will be running through the fidelity investment firm firm the fourth largest firm in the world the largest asset firm uh so guys i can't emphasize this enough if you're not already invested in the cryptocurrencies i highly suggest just looking into it researching it finding out what it's all about what the scoop is because this is big stuff happening right now and you do not want to miss out on these incredible price levels um down here earlier this month two stable coins gemini and paxos received approval from new york regulators that peg their cryptos one-to-one -to, -one to the u.s dollar this development has infused money into the crypto market by opening the floodgates to large institutional investors who now have the ability to maneuver and trade through usd tied liquidity um so Previously, we have uh, the Tether token where it's tied directly to the US dollar. Uh, we just got approval from Gemini and Paxos where they will also be able to have their own stable coin that's tied directly one to one to the US dollar. And this is a big deal that we have these sort of stable coins because when you have traditional investors that want to be able to manip manipulate the market in their favor and make profit on trades and stuff like that you need to be able to tie um a, your money directly to um a stable coin and not have to directly pull it out of the market and this is a big thing for crypto enthusiasts and investors because when you have these investors that are able to tie something directly to a cryptocurrency a stable coin that means they don't have to pull their money out of the market which drops the overall price they can simply put it into the stable coin and the market cap value stays the exact same so this is awesome awesome stuff across the board our final announcement for today blockchain for 35 million users korea's biggest insurance firm sk partners with icon uh, so down here, Icon, South Korea's most valuable blockchain project, has partnered with the country's telecommunications conglomerate, SK, to possibly utilize blockchain technology in crypto and compensating users for of its mileage system. SK Planet, a subsidiary of SK, has signed a MOU with Icon 
to operate the most widely utilized mileage system in the country that has nearly 35 million users, more than half of the country's population. In the months ahead, SK Planet is expected to collaborate with the Icon team to utilize its blockchain technology and supporting mobile services as well as its mileage, mileage system OK Cash Back. So what this means for Icon investors big big stuff as of right now they didn't say anything specific about what sk is going to be doing with icon but they have partnered and hopefully for soon down the road uh, they will be putting this partnership to use with 35 million users over half of the population of south korea that is crazy 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 news um so when it comes to the price movement of icon right here icon up eight percent of the day so they are climbing shortly not climbing as much as you would expect from a partnership like this i mainly think that the, that is due to um sk not really announcing anything specific about what icon is going to be doing with them but this across the board is a great great partnership um and i personally might may have to look into icon and maybe uh jump on forward to the icon team so that is all the news i have for you guys a lot of very positive news across the board i love making videos when everything's positive no one likes making videos when everything's negative we're down 200 billion dollars market cap all that sort of stuff so it's great to see that everything is looking great right now for xrp specifically this is something that i'm personally going to be staying away from as of right now i have been considering jumping on board to the ripple train recently uh, mainly just due to the overall adoption of ripple when it comes to these banks and institutions i know the overall crypto sphere is mainly for being your own bank being decentralized staying away from centralized institutions uh, but ripple has been looking very promising lately i'm not gonna lie so right now i am staying away till we do have this cooldown. ripple is just too hot of us on a spree right now up it was up 80 percent this morning it is dropping fast as you can see right now at 62 percent let's actually refresh it during this video all right so it went up a little bit 65 percent high liquidity a lot going on with ripple right now i'm going to be staying away until it can cool down a little bit and uh really get a steady head of where um you could possibly jump on board uh so let me know down below what you guys think about ripple what you guys think about all this awesome news don't forget to be subscribed and leave a comment down below so you can be entered into this giveaway fifty dollars worth of xrp is going to be given away to one lucky subscriber thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next. Woo!